Senator Ben Cardin used National Police Week to kick off support for important legislation for the National Blue Alert System. Unfortunately, too many law enforcement officers are put at risk every day. Uh, in 2012, 127 law officers were killed in line of duty nationwide. That's 127 too many. Senator Ben Cardin chose Rothville to bring attention to his Senate bill for the National Blue Alert System, an amber alert-like system designed to expand communication when an officer is injured or killed in the line of duty. Well, you, you got to be excited that uh, you have such support locally for law enforcement. I mean, the law enforcement people here really are part of the community. They have the support of the community. And Blue Alert, the legislation I introduced, is a partnership between the public and law enforcement to help keep our community safe and keep our law enforcement officers safe. The bill would integrate blue alert plans throughout the U.S., notifying law enforcement, media, and the public that a suspect is wanted in connection with an attack on a law enforcement officer. Right now, only 18 states are using the system. Cardin's bill would make it coordinated on a national level, one that has the support of local law enforcement officials. I'm proud to say that I stand here on behalf of all the law enforcement personnel here to say that we are we are st we stand behind and with Senator Cardin urging congressional action on the national blue alert system. The blue alert legislation calls for expanded communications across state lines, and I'm here at the dispatch center of the new Rockville City Police headquarters with state-of-the-art technological upgrades thanks to federal funds. Thank you. Elected officials from the city, county, and state showed their support for the Blue Alert Bill. It's clear, in my opinion, as I indicated earlier, that when you take the life or you are willing to maim or injure a police officer, that suggests that that person is easily prepared to injure anyone else. And therefore, the greater public is at risk as a result of having that person out on the street. So the sooner we can bring that person to justice, the sooner we can get people helping in that process, the better for everyone. I certainly hope it gets the kind of coverage and passage that it should in the Senate. It's an excellent way of trying to get on top of an event that hurts our police officers or any of the law enforcement individuals. It's a, it's, a, it's a real dedication to the community to care enough about those police officers and to get the community involved in trying to find the perpetrators. I think in this day and age with so many people with smartphones and whatnot, it's good to bring the public in and give us the information that we can be helpful. And we've seen recently in some very tragic cases that um, people can um, participate in you know, the um, knowledge of what's going on and, and do so do so carefully and respectfully of the police and their need to get the job done. The event was also an opportunity to showcase the new Rockville City Police Headquarters, which opened fall of 2012 and was obtained in part through Senator Cardin's help with federal funds. This will serve the city probably for the next 100 years. So we've, uh, we've preserved a historic building, we have the best in new technology in the rest of the building, and I couldn't be happier. Well, it, it's less than a year old, and, and we just jam-packed it with all the latest stuff, you know, as part of the overall construction effort. And it was not only the equipment, it's the space, because we have the old post office that was extended. We put in a new building. Ninety-two people work here and allows for expansion. We'll have two new officers uh, shortly as a result of the budget. So we do support our police. The bill still needs to be approved by the House and Senate before it can be signed into law by the president.